Big story for you tonight. For the first time, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the DEA, is sharing some eye-popping details about something they've spent the past year working on. They have found a stunning amount of fentanyl and meth pouring here into North Texas. Aaron Jones with the other big story, new at 10. North Texas is prime real estate for drug trafficking organizations, according to the DEA Dallas Division. You know, with some of the world's biggest uh, airports, uh, the interstate system, and just the centralized location here in the United States, it really gives an advantage to cartels. Special agent in charge Eduardo Chavez says especially the Sinaloa and Jalisco cartels. Uh, they're responsible for a majority of the fentanyl and methamphetamine that have been coming into the country and affecting neighborhoods uh, here in DFW. Locally, the DEA has focused and cracked down on these kinds of crimes, making more than 200 arrests in the last year, 3.5 million deadly doses of fentanyl, and 1,300 pounds of meth taken off the streets through Operation Last Mile. You know, we have a variety of U.S. citizens. We have a variety of, of non-foreign uh, uh, nationals, drug trafficking members who, frankly, many times don't even drug, uh, use drugs themselves. He says cartels are using social media platforms to find local victims to sell fentanyl pills disguised as other drugs like Oxycontin, Percocet or Xanax. We need to do a better job as a community to get out there in the public and talk about it. Lauren O'Connor is the president and executive director of Foundation 45, which is hosting educational events. You always have to be prepared and have your Narcan. Informing North Texans about the problems and teaching them how to use Narcan, which can reverse an opioid overdose. It starts with the communities, it starts with parents, it starts with the schools. It's a collective effort. And if you're interested in one of these educational events, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office is hosting one next Tuesday. It will take place at Paul Quinn College at 6.30 p.m. Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.